Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're gonna continue our network game. We will be implementing our lobby functionality. We will be able to host a lobby. We will be able to join a lobby with having the lobby ID. And the next thing, we will be able to enter our game for the players in the lobby. We can copy the ID or leave the lobby if we want it. So let's get started. Let's start by creating a game object. Let's call it Steam Manager. And let's add a component called Steam Manager. And let's open this script. Now the first thing we need to do here is let's create our methods. So let's start by public void. Let's start by host lobby. And here what we need to do is first of all using steamworks and here we can do await steam matchmaking dot create lobby async and here we pass an integer which is the maximum number of players for our lobby and this should create a lobby for us and make us join it so the next thing we need to do here is joining our lobby while having the id of the lobby so first of all we need the input field of the id so let's guess that and here let's make a serialized field and uh, input field text mesh pro let's make it private and let's call it the uh, lobby id input field awesome now here let's start by creating the method which is public async void join lobby with id this should work okay here we need to check if the content of the lobby id input field is a u long therefore if it is a valid number so let's start by testing it out so let's say if u long dot Try parse for the loopy ID input field dot text, uh, and here let's create a u long a uh, ID. Let's call it ID out. And what this will do, it will try to convert the content of the input field into a u long. So if it is not a u long, let's return and here we go so here we need to look for a lobby with the same id of this variable id so let's do that by create a, an array of lobbies so let's first of all import the lobbies which is existed in steamworks.data and let's here do a lobby let's call it lobbies is equal to await for steam matchmaking dot lobby list and here we need to let's say for example with slots available of the number of slots available the minimum number of slots available let's say one dot request async and here we go we got the lobbies for our uh, app now the next thing we need to do is check which lobby is the same as this id we can do that by creating a for each lobby lobby in lobbies and so here we do an if lobby dot a id is equal equal to id therefore we got the lobby that we wanted we can be like lobby dot join okay and this is an await and here we can do a return and here we go this should be for joining our lobby let's next get the text mesh pro for displaying our lobby let's do that by serialized field and let's here say private text mesh pro ugui so let's call it lobby id and uh, this should be done for our methods now the next thing we need to do is 
creating our uh, steam events so let's start by on enable and let's also create an on disable awesome let's go to steam matchmaking dot on lobby created plus equal lobby created let's next call steam matchmaking dot on lobby enter plus equal lobby entered and the last thing we need is steam friends dot on lobby on game lobby join requested plus equal game lobby join requested and this should be it for the on enable let's go on on disable and let's unsubscribe from all of these events and let's create those methods this is the first method this is the second method and this is the third method easy so here those methods will be fired every time a lobby thing happens so for example here if we create a lobby if we do this create lobby async after steam creates a lobby for us it will fire this event and therefore here what we need to do is save our lobby have a reference to our lobby so we can do that by let's say having a current lobby here let's say lobby current lobby and this would work but the issue with this is let's assume we entered the game we're playing and we wanted to go back to the lobby as a group so we, we should go back to this scene but this current lobby doesn't exist anymore because we already destroyed this game object so what we need is we need to have a reference to this current lobby throughout our entire game not only this scene and the way we do that is by creating a do not destroy on load game object that containing a reference to this current lobby and let's do that let's first of all go to our setup scene and let's create a game object let's call it lobby saver for example and let's add a script called lobby saver okay now here in this script the only thing we need to do is awake let's delete this template and let's uh, here create a public static lobby saver let's call it instance and here let's create a public lobby current lobby and here in the awake method let's say instance is equal to this and do not destroy on load for this dot game object let's import the steam here uh, using steam works let's Uh, this should be it for the script which means we can get the current lobby a reference for our current lobby throughout our entire game okay so let's continue so here on lobby entered we need to get to save the reference of our lobby so here we can say lobby saver dot instance dot current lobby is equal to the it's called object let's rename it to lobby and here let's say lobby so here we go that's very simple here what we need to do on lobby create we need to to make the lobby public so everyone can join it so the way we do that is let's say let's rename this to lobby and this to result so if so we need first of all to check if the result is okay so if result is equal to result dot okay is equal equal okay we need to lobby dot set public and after we need to lobby dot set joinable for true and that's it for this event so here we publish the game for other players here we save a reference for our lobby and what we need here to do is lobby uh let's, let's rename it to lobby and here let's name it to steam id so here let's say lobby dot join we can make it an await 
and here we go so this method will be fired every time this event occurs and this event will be occurring every time you press on join on one of your friends so if you press on your friend and you press join lobby or your friend invited you to the game and you press play game this event will be fired and therefore you need to join the lobby and after you will enter the lobby awesome that's it for the uh, creating our lobbies let's for testing create uh, here let's say debug.log for we entered just to make sure we actually enter the game so there is a thing i want to do here which is we have this lobby id and we need this lobby id to be displaying the lobby id so we can do that when we enter the lobby we can be like lobby id dot text is equal to lobby dot id that's dot to string that should be easy after we enter the lobby we need to display the in lobby menu and we can do that by getting a, friend, a reference to our lobbies and let's do that by uh, serialized field let's call it public game object main menu and an I again serialized field for our in lobby menu it should be a private in lobby menu let's make it private here we go so here we need to do main menu dot set active uh, false and in lobby menu dot set active true that's it for our script so let's test our game out let's drop our in lobby menu and our main menu and let's get our lobby id input field and our in lobby id and so here i need to take this and call the host lobby and join lobby and to give it this game object and join lobby with id and here we go let's test it out so let's get started let's see they're already loaded let's start a host and here we go it said we entered and we created our lobby it displayed our lobby id and it is working 